Extraordinary footage of the attack as it took place. Confusion and horror at what's unfolding. Hotel staff and tourists following the killer, Saifuddin Rizgi. And amid the chaos, a warning from the employee bravely filming. He moves towards the bar area. In the background, the killer, his machine gun clearly visible. He follows the gunman to the beach. As the gunman was on the loose, Angela Evans from Kings Lynn was lying on the beach with her neighbour. Now back home, she relived her ordeal. There was this man there, in black. He just stood there with his huge gun. Moving around all the people, shooting them. They were just killing, murdering them. <laughs> we both, same time, play dead. We fell, we just fell to the ground, faces in the sand. It was coming nearer and nearer. Then his feet were at the side of me. You don't move then. Because you're next. I just pray to God. Into the sand fell part, I can only say part of the gun, but it, a magazine. And the sand skitted up. I could feel he moved. And the shooting started again. He still played dead. Until I heard the noise move, the, the gun, the gun was getting a little bit further. We knew if we were gonna stay alive, we had to look then and we couldn't see him, and the noise was up towards the hotel. And here's how the killing spree was brought to an end. Yalla. With gunfire in a side street. This was the firefight in which Rizgi was killed, but not before he massacred many innocent holidaymakers in the worst terrorist attack on Britons since the London bombings. At the beach today, more heavy weapons, but this time for protection. The Home Secretary stood shoulder to shoulder with her Tunisian counterpart and with ministers from France and Germany. Theresa May laid flowers in honour of the dead, a sombre moment under a blistering sun nations brought together by bloodshed. Well, the Home Secretary is now here at the scene where so many Britons lost their lives, where so many holidaymakers were gunned down. It was about this time three days ago when the attacker was on the loose and the key question for the government in the UK and the authorities here, can something be done to prevent another attack like this in the future? Then, beneath a banner saying, we are Seuss, the ministers promised a united front against extremism, and Theresa May voiced the outrage felt by many in Britain. What happened here last Friday was a despicable act of cruelty. How could a place of such beauty, of relaxation and happiness, be turned into such a scene of brutality and destruction. She promised help for the wounded and this RAF transport plane, which flew in from Bryce Norton earlier, has now left Tunisia. It's bringing four of the injured back home to a Britain scarred anew by hatred and fanaticism. Orla Guerin, BBC News, Seuss.